Welcome back. It's time for Sunday Brunch and joining us this morning is Chef Brian Boston. He is the owner and executive chef at the Milton Inn. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm great. You guys are located in Sparks? We are. We're at 14833 York Road. And what do you focus on? What's your main menu? Um, our main menu is American cuisine, um, but we do do small plates and so we do a lot of special occasions, but people also use us as a neighborhood restaurant. And today you're making red curried mussels, I and am. this is the sauce for it right here. It is. I'm starting out with some olive oil. The recipe's on your website, and on my website, I believe. Um, we're gonna cook the garlic with the olive oil. Just wanna brown the garlic a little bit. But Start, not burn it. Not burn it. Start getting some of the flavors out of the garlic mm -hmm. into the oil. Um, you want a nice brown color, but like you said, you do not want to overcook the garlic because it'll become bitter. All right, what else do we put in there? Um, well, right after the garlic, uh, we're going to put in the red curry paste okay. and start cooking that out a little bit. I've actually never cooked with red curry before, so is that something you can just buy in a store? You can get it at a store like Wegmans mm -hmm. or Giant probably even has it these okay. days. Um, I like the Thai red curry paste mm -hmm. uh, for this particular dish. Uh, it's just pretty is it much spicy? It is, but it's not overly spicy. Okay. Um, we are going to add one um, Thai chili to it, mm -hmm. which is going to give it a little bit of more heat. Okay. Uh, this curry is more for the flavor. The Thai chili is more for the heat. So once that's mixed in, what else do we add in there? We're going to add in everything else, actually. The Thai chili. The whole bathtub. Yep. We're going to put in sugar. Mm -hmm. We've got fish sauce. That's what I was smelling. Yep. It's so good in something else that's sitting by Absolutely. itself. Absolutely. It's, it's not so good by itself. Right. Lime juice, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt to taste. And your pepper. And a little bit of pepper. Okay. And then we're going to add in our coconut milk. Yeah, so I just want people to see this. This is really thick. I thought it was sour cream at first, but that it's, is coconut milk. And coconut you're going to dip right into that and yep. stick it right in there. We're going to dump all this in. That's going to be about. This two, calls for two, two cans, two so cans. it's they're 13 ounce cans. Yeah. And it's making it nice and thick in there. Yep. Okay. Get rid of that. And then, and then add put our, the white, our wine white wine in, in there. Yep. Okay, I'm just there gonna go. assist you there. Stick Very it all good. in. So when you have actual time to let this sit and cook, how how long does this take to get together? Um maybe fifteen minutes. Okay, all right. Doesn't so take really too overall, long. that's not too bad. Nope. Right. While you're stirring that, we're gonna tell folks that if you'd like a copy of today's recipe, you can find it for free on our WBAL TV mobile app.